Hey guys, this is XJCSX back with part 4 of my event editing tutorials. And this is going to be my final one, as well as probably my most advanced one. What we're going to be getting into at the peak of this entire tutorial is basically how you can load different maps, how you can place characters, how you can place a character at a certain spot on the map, and how you can make him, like, you know, animate and do whatever you want, really. And then you can change your own text and do whatever you want, incorporate everything that I hope you've learned so far into making a really cool custom event. I really think after this video is over, you'll really be able to. So go ahead and load up your uh, Windex and do your display offset as, and then open the file. And yeah, um, let me go ahead and get my cleaner on. And do Control G. Display. Oh yeah, I already did that. Okay. So go ahead and uh, the event script. And what we're going to be editing is that scene where um, Terra after the Kefka scene where Terra passes out and has that flashback with Kefka putting the slave slave shot on her. It switches that scene where Locke's walking and he walks in the old man's house and the guy's like. Uh, Oh, it took you long enough. How it goes to plundering and robbering trade and all, all that kind of stuff. So, we're going to be editing that and we're pretty much going to rewrite that entire script. We're going to load a different map. We're not going to change the characters though. Actually, we're going to have to change the old man though because his, um, I'll, I'll get on to that later. But we're not going to be changing, the, for the most part, we're not going to be changing the characters that much, okay? So, I'm um, go ahead and type in the text as closest to it, which is going to be took you long. Uh, yeah, we could have done enough, but. Anyways, um, you never know there's going to be a line break, but look for the load map command, which is right here. Load map 1E, Narche, all non shot buttons, whatever. So copy this, and we're going to go to it. Go up. I'm, I'm kind of going fast, guys, because I believe y'all know how to do this by now. Okay, and we're here. This is saying load map 1E, place party at 2040, facing up. I think that 21 is facing up. I'm not really sure. The high bytes kind of get me confused, but there we go, guys. So we're going to load a different map, okay? I've already got the map laid out. I want to load 9C, okay? The waterfall cliff. It's a pretty cool map, and it's very simple for what we're doing. We'll get if if you get more advanced, you know, you can get really good at the stuff. But this is a good map to start out with. This and the Narche cliffs. So do 6B, 9C, and then I've already got the coordinates that I want the camera to be faced at, which is 0B. Oops, sorry, not that. 0, 0, 0, 0B. And do a control save. And what we're going to check to see right now in ZSNES is to see if it actually loads the map and we're at a good spot, okay? Nothing more. Uh oh. Did I delete my ZSNES save? Okay, I'll be back, guys. I think I deleted. Sorry about that, guys. I was actually in the wrong directory in ZSNES, but okay, here we go. Uh, I didn't change anything. Okay, load the map, and we're going to see if the map's different now. And for a good angle, add a good angle. And there you go. That's, that's a pretty good angle, and yeah, everything's still kind of jacked up. And it, I know my sound, my sound's not working because I have to save this as an AVI to make it small, but you can hear the door opening, that door sound effect, and then there's the old man talking, and there's no characters on the screen at all, so we're fixing to get into all that and edit all that stuff and get everybody set up, okay? So we're going to keep lock, we're going to keep his ID, and we'll get into the old man's later, okay? So there's the 3D create object 01 command right there, we're not going to mess with that, and we're gonna, there's set event bits I really don't ever recommend you fiddle with event bits unless you really know what you're doing, and you've, you know, you've learned all that, okay? And, um, let me see. Plays character 01. If you wanted to put him on Chocobo, I guess you could. Um, I guess we're gonna kind of have a scene like, yeah, let's let's, let's put him on Chocobo. Cause I have a scene planned out that I want to have, and, and yeah, 41. Uh, there we go. We're gonna put him on Chocobo, and I'll explain why later. And then this game's calling a subroutine, which I'm not really sure what that is. I think it might be the door opening. You know, subroutines. I'm gonna go over these real quick. Subroutines are like, um specific things that happen, sequences that happen and that are stored in the memory of the ROM and they execute by having their address followed with starting with the B2 command. So they store these somewhere. They store the, the animation of a door opening somewhere in the ROM. That's the best way I can describe it. And then they can call that subroutine and make the door open on a specific part of the map. And I really don't know all the details guys. That's very sophisticated stuff and if I ever learn it I will I promise I will make a tutorial. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try looking at all that, guys. It's pretty tough stuff, though, okay? Uh, this hide object command, we're not really going to worry about that. I mean, we are on a different map, so it could be fiddling with something. So just always be aware of a 42 command being somewhere. And right here, this is it. 0, 1, D5, okay? They're setting a uh, lock's position to, position to somewhere on the map, okay? So we're going to have lock's position, position, like, right here, okay? We're going to have him right here. This tile is walkable, actually, which doesn't really matter, because if you're event editing, they can walk on anything. Then we're going to place him right here, and we're going to make him walk up on the chocobo. We're going to set his feet really fast. He's going to walk right here, then he's going to face left and look over the cliff, okay? Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that. Um, 01, begin active character 01, 86, D5. 
and we got there to the right spot. Now let's go ahead and get the coordinates for that spot. I should have done that to begin with. And right here. Okay, that is 15 and 23. So go into that um converter website that's what you guys about and do 15 F and I already got it written down actually sorry guys. I've done this video before. 15 and 23, okay? So 15 23 uh F17, okay? So go into the df command and change this to 0f and 17. And we're also going to make his speed fast. So change the c2 command to c3 to make him go fast. And face up. And then we'll save. And I think I have a saving habit now. Okay. So, oh yeah, Trey, we're not going to see him. We need to um make him go up. Now we need to find his next action cue that follows. And we need to make him walk up, okay? Now we're, we're gonna skip over the, um the old man's action uh, object and all that. We'll get to him later. We just need to make sure that I'm just to like point out how this really works. And you'll you'll see very shortly. Okay, this is it right here, guys. Now imagine yourself back in that shop building with a lock walking outside of the door. He walks down four tiles. He does a diagonal left down two times, and then he goes down three tiles. Okay, just kind of imagine that. So we're gonna make him go up a few tiles. Okay, and remember he's on chocobo. He's going very fast too. So zero one. I think this is an eighty four eighty. Okay, I keep getting lucky with those. <laughs> okay. So, an up command. Let's go ahead and I should have done this to begin with. Let's go ahead and open up. Oh, no, and I want to make a new one. Open up your an, another instance of the event script. Wait for it to load, and we're going to find some up commands. I think I have a general idea of how I want to do this, but yeah. Up 8 tiles, 9c, kind of like the map we just loaded. <laughs> 9c. Now we're going to make him go left, up. Left slash up two times one. A A. A A. Okay, so nine C A A. And then we're gonna make him face um up, okay? So we're gonna save that and if all goes well, when we load this map, we'll see him go up, okay? And he'll be going very fast and he'll be on a chocobo and he'll do diagonal left up, okay? And as you can see there he is. Okay. It's still kinda jacked up, but I mean, yeah, that was kinda funny. Let's watch that again, that was cool. Okay, I hope you guys can see the power of event editing. I mean, this is pretty cool stuff. He didn't go up as many tiles as I wanted him to. I was imagining him being. See, he went back down and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, not it. Yeah, we're not done. We're not done at all. Trust me. Okay, so right here, uh, play sound effect 44. We're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of these sound effects commands, okay? Because that's the door opening and stuff. And these are very easy to find. Uh, let me pause the video real quick. So, guys, somebody's calling me. Ah, uh, never mind, guys. I was a toll free call. Those are annoying. But right here, um, this is a FF command. This F4 command is playing, saying play sound effect, and that's the door opening. If you can't remember, so we're gonna go ahead and, and FD this because we don't want that door to play, okay? And I mean, if you want it, you can find, you can find, you could probably make the sound effect of wind to kind of fit the waterfall area, but we're not gonna get into that. And then we're gonna find the other one. There was one around, um, oh, okay, I swear I saw another one. Yeah, right here, right here. We're going to edit this, and we're going to FD this one too, okay? So that way we can get rid of the door command, because that's really messing me up. I don't know why. F4, 2C. That's the... See what I said, guys? Um, the sound effect says 44, but that's not the hexadecimal equivalent. 2C is not it. Let's see if it is real quick. Okay, that is, guys. That is cool. Okay, that is very cool. Um, If you want to find the IDs of a, of a sound effect, go on the event script, get the decimal uh, value of it, input it into this little thing, and it'll give you the hexadecimal, which is 2C, which is actually right, guys. So, yeah, that's cool, guys. That is very cool. And this is it right here. We're going to FD this. FD, FD. And there we go. Okay, now back into the event script. We're going to um, try to figure, finish up uh, the old man, okay? We're going to finish the old man. Um, I think I'm lost. Yeah, this is the wrong event script, I think. Yeah, right here. This is it. Create object 11. This is it right here, okay? Now I'm just going to uh, go up one more block, okay? So we're going to search for this. And I really hope I'm not going too fast, but I think uh, to some extent y'all should kind of know some of what I'm doing right now. I'm going over most of these commands. Oh, by the way, um, I want to point this. Out. I'll point this out right now. You cannot have an action cue for a character unless you have created the character's ID. Okay? What this means basically is, see how the game originally has create object 11, and then they have an action cue for object 11, six bytes long. See, if they had not, if they FD, they did not have this 3D and 11. If the, if the, if they just FD this, or they didn't have it at all, and they had 1186, the game would freeze because the game would be like. Who's object 11? It does not know who that is, and it cannot do anything with it. So what you have to do is you have to create object 11, and you know, voila, there you go. So yeah, guys, that, that's that. And um, like I was saying, we're gonna—I'm pretty sure if we do object 11 for this map, it's gonna be a blonde-haired Terra. Um, that's kind of an area you'll get if, if you ever try making like a new like. Okay, I'll explain what I'm trying to do, guys. Let's say we wanted 
we had to have bigs, okay? We, we created object bigs, and then we each, like, made everything else zero e, okay? Now, for this map, it might actually work. It might actually show bigs as um, sprite, but for most maps, it's gonna just show you this pink, this blonde haired Terra, and it's gonna be messed up, okay, guys? So that's something that I don't really know how it goes, but what I have figured out is each map has a different ID for the same character. Like, I've seen Kefka's ID change from 04 to 06 to 1A. So, I mean, it's kind of different. I mean, it changes up, so there's really no way, and I cannot find a way to tell what, um, like what a sprite's ID is going to be for a specific map. So if anybody knows how to do that, that would be greatly appreciated because I really think I can benefit from that. Now let me go ahead and see how much time we got left. Okay, see we're almost reaching our limit. But what we're going to do is we're just going to hurry up and change the D5 command and set him to already on the cliff, okay? We're going to have him right here, okay? So we're going to have him at 1110. So let's change this to 11. B, okay. B, 0 B, 11 and now 10. 0 A. 0 A. So let's change that to 0 B, 0 A. I think that was it. Yeah. 0 B, 0 A. Let me check real quick, guys. I don't want to break it. 0 B, 0 A. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. 0 B, 0 A. And we're going to make him face down, okay? While we're at it. Okay. Now we're going to load the map, and if all goes well, we should see him, um, yeah, on the map, okay? The old man. There he is. Okay, see what I mean, guys, by, um, having different IDs? Like, originally in this game, they had the ID of 11, okay? They had an old man, the ID was 11 on that map, okay? But now, on this map right here, if you use ID 11, it gives you this little kid, see? Which looks pretty messed up, actually, and pretty stupid. But, I mean, we can still work with this, okay, guys? I'm not going to worry about it. So, yeah, guys, I really don't know why that happens. I mean, all it tells me is that there's different IDs for the same characters on different maps, okay? So, um, if anybody knows a reason or how that happens, just tell me. That'd be awesome, okay? I'm going to stop this video, and I'm going to split it into four. The next video will be 4B, okay? See you guys.